You know him as the internet's most notorious gossip columnist for nearly two decades, and while his column and social platforms still keep us up to date on what's happening in Hollywood, he's a dad to three beautiful kids and a Las Vegas local. Yes, every month we'll be hearing Perez's picks, a fun blend of Hollywood updates and Vegas local need to knows. Let's hear it for Perez Hilton. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be doing this every month now. We're excited too. I know, yeah. this is an exciting time. Now, we recently learn about Hollywood 2.0. Tell us all about it. Why are Vegas, you know, some of the Vegas locals are like super on board, some of them not so much. What's happening? Yes, you know, Mark Wahlberg moved here a few years ago and he made it his mission to build a film and TV studio here and it's happening. A multi-billion dollar project in conjunction with Sony and it's going to be in Summerlin and some of the locals there uh, are very protective of their neighborhood and right. are not happy that they're going to be building that there. I moved to Vegas because I think this is the land of opportunity. Yes. And I'm thankful that we're going to have more jobs even before the studio opens, you know, the construction work and more income will help everybody, I think. So uh, I'm, I thank Mark Wahlberg and I'm excited for that. Yeah, and, I, I, and, I, I think, and I feel so welcome in Vegas, and I hope that everybody can welcome them also. Yeah, I, yes, I think I, I think I think a lot of people are excited about it. I think one thing that terrifies people is that 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 one word again, construction, which gets thrown in, which you know. Progress has to happen. You have to have construction, but it just adds to the construction. And there's more road closures happening. I think, I think happening prices again. too. Yeah. Just doing a little, a little <laughs> increase there. <laughs> so Lost Spirits uh, Distillery has been known for the longest time as Disneyland for adults, but but sadly their journey is coming to an end. Bittersweet. Yeah. There is still two more weeks. You can go check out Lost Spirits Distillery. I actually am going to the very last day of operations to go eat at their restaurant called 20,000 Leagues, which I think is one of the best dining experiences in Las Vegas. I'm not sure if tickets are available for that because it's a small seating, only about 18 people per evening, per course. There's two seatings a night. So go check out 20,000 Leagues and you still have two weeks. Everybody can go check out the distillery tour and they have live entertainment as well and maybe it's just until we see you again. I don't know if it's a forever goodbye, I hope not. But with every goodbye, there's also a hello. And this weekend at the Luxor, a brand new show is launching, which actually is a return to Vegas. It's called Particle Inc. And it played at the Arts District for a limited engagement a couple of years ago. It's one of the most thrilling theatrical experiences I have ever seen. It's hard to describe. It's immersive. It's, mm -hmm. it's experiential. It's tech, tech forward. And that's all I will say. Particle Inc., you have to go see this. Very exciting stuff. I mean, and in, in, in speaking of things that are new and coming to town, we know that Fountain Blue is the newest sort of a hotel and casino that landed on the Strip. And there's a lot of new restaurants people are still getting into and exploring, a lot of new retail stores coming out. So there is a restaurant called Q there you recently visited. Tell us about your experience. Well, I ate my way through Fountain Blue. I stayed there recently on a little staycation and I dined at over eight of their restaurants. Mother Wolf is getting a lot of buzz without, without a doubt, uh, one of the best restaurants in town, but I want to highlight Q because I didn't know what to expect. The cuisine is Asian fusion. And first of all, I'm going to talk about kale for a hot second. Wow. <laughs> the, okay, kale. The, the kale. The kale. The kale of it all. <laughs> it blew my mind. I could not imagine before being excited about kale, but you have to have the kale dish. And the other must, which also blew my mind because I've never had it this way before. In Los Angeles, where I used to live, I've had shaved ice desserts before, but usually they're made with, you know, uh, a red bean or, or some kind of bean paste. This one didn't have any beans. Or, the focus was on sweetened condensed milk. So it was very sweet, which I'm Cuban. I love sweet <laughs> things. You must get the kale and their shaved ice dessert. The shaved ice is like a meal in and of itself. Divine. Yes. I mean, this is not necessarily food, but this is the kind of juicy stuff that I like to dig my teeth into. Some celeb news. Let's do that's it. Been, that's <laughs> been heating up the tabloids recently. What do you have for us? What can I munch on? You know, just this week, I keep seeing so many people 
attacking is the, the right word, Jojo Siwa. Do you know who she is? I yes. love Jojo. I love Jojo. Yes. I love short Shane Dawson. She's <laughs> often on his podcast. So if if yeah. you don't know who she is, she got her start on reality television. She was on Dance Moms. Then yes. she was very popular with a certain demographic mm -hmm. because of the hair bow. Yeah. And now she's releasing music. And a lot of people are turned off by the music. A lot of people are turned off at the fact that she's openly gay. Right. And she's growing up. She's just turned 21 years old. She's not a 12 year old anymore. And it's sad for me to see that she's just like the latest punching bag. And especially on TikTok, they moved on from Jennifer Lopez. Right. Everybody was attacking JLo. And I will, I will go hard for JLo. You know, she might have her flaws. And I know that some people in Vegas have certain issues with her, but for the most part, I think she's a more evolved, mature person than she was in the past. And she is coming to Vegas in July at T-Mobile, yes. which if I can, I would love to go. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, 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 I think she's a very inspiring person and so is Jojo Siwa. And it sucks that people make videos attacking them because they know it'll go viral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason. Yeah, and you know how I, I mean, Elliot knows firsthand how I feel about J-Lo. I love me some J-Lo, so I get Not it. Not hurt. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. But there's also some Taylor Swift mania going on. Oh my I mean, gosh. she was super big last year with the Eras tour, and now she's still doing things. Prolific queen. Mm -hmm. It was only a year and a half ago that she released her last album, Midnight's. And now this Friday, we get a oh, brand new yeah. album from Taylor Swift. That That's was, the one I'm most curious about. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really funny story. I'll try to make it brief. That was at Katy Perry's birthday party many moons ago. Uh -huh. And I thought it was a costume party. So I went as Mother Teresa. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but it turned out that it was just a white party. Oh. And everybody else went dressed in white, and I just went as a mother. I was the only person. But you were still dressed in white. That yes. sounds like a recurring dream I had. Perez, yeah. we'd love to sit down and talk more, and we can't wait to have you back on. But thank you for coming in. And for more yes. info on Perez's picks or to learn what else is happening in Hollywood and Vegas, visit PerezHilton.com.